Hi you guys, this is Maria and I only have a few minutes, possibly only seconds, to make this video. So anyways, I made this wreath last night for my friend Joanna and she's on her way here right now. She moved to Texas. She's a writer friend of mine and she moved to Texas with her family and she's here for just a couple of days during the holidays. So I'm really excited to give this to her. I was up really late last night making this. It didn't really take long. Uh, it probably took me longer sorting through the ornaments, deciding which ones to put on the wreath. And so I got the wreath at Michael's and it was only $2.39 because they were marked down 70%. So this is a really good time to get them right before Christmas and hopefully there'll be some left after Christmas too. So anyways, let me sort of show you around, okay, around the wreath. And let's start up here at 12 o'clock. I got this vintage Santa at the swap meet this past weekend. Really excited about this one. It was still in its original package. So cute. And then let's move around to 1 o'clock. There's this ornament here that I picked up, the clock, and it says 1 o'clock. And it's got like that clear glitter. It's so pretty. And so I got that at one of the thrift stores in Anaheim with a bunch of other stuff. And there's one of the little wooden ornaments. And see the candy cane and um, the little candy here, the lifesaver and the little peppermint? Well, I got those off of one of those, um, you remember those candy garlands that they used to sell? I haven't seen them in a long time. So anyways, I also found that at that same thrift store in Anaheim. And I just clipped the string and everything just fell right off. And I thought it looked really cute and colorful. So, and also look at this little cat, or is it a cat or a squirrel or, <laughs> anyways, it's some little critter and it's so cute. I got that at the swap meet and a lot of these I picked up at the swap meet and showed you in some of my other videos. This one was made of beads. I really like that. I remember when people would make those. There's another little wooden ornament and here's a little soldier at, let's see, four o'clock. And so he's really cute. He's made of pipe cleaners and a little wooden bead for his face. And there's some more candy. I love this vintage reindeer. It's so cute. I just adore it. And it's it's got like this little fuzzy stuff on it. And I remember when ornaments came like that. Oh, it's called flocking. That's what it is. And this I thought would look perfect at the bottom because I could hang his legs down. So isn't it neat? He's one of those puppets, you know, where you pull the string. I pull the string right now, but I think then I would lose the camera here. But anyways, I really, really love it. I think he's perfect there. And there's another wooden ornament. And look at that old Santa and his sleigh. So cool. And I thought that little wagon is so cute, says Noel. And look at this little uh, soldier, this little tin soldier. Now, a lot of his paint had come off. It had rubbed off on his shirt, his pants, his shoes, his hat. And so what I did, and what you can do for situations like this, is take a Sharpie marker and just fill it in. You can't even tell the difference. I happen to have all the colors. And so I was really happy. And then look at this little um, tin um, cookie cutter. I couldn't think of the word for a second. <laughs> and it's got a little handle, it's so cute. And these bells look like they were hand painted. A little Santa, another candy cane, a little wishing well, and another little vintage um, deer. This one's not a reindeer, it looks like. Well, it could be, I guess. But anyways, it's super cute. And then look at this little soldier. Isn't he cute? I have several of those. I found it uh, at the swap meet uh, with a bunch of other ornaments. And this little vintage block. And then there's these little angels. I have a few more of these angels on here. And the Santa. Oh, and I forgot to show you this little horn. I have several of those too. So I'm really excited to give it to her. Uh, we're going to go out to lunch, and so this is going to be a really fun day. Oh, they're here. So I better put my shoes on, and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, yes, it's yours. Are you serious? <laughs> Do you like oh, it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Am I getting filmed? Yes, oh, you're getting yay. filmed. This is my friend Joanna from Texas. She's a writer. And this is her daughter, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> so do you like the wreath, Lucy? Yes, I do. Cool, cool. Yeah, I was oh, up last so night nice. making this, and there it is, you guys, on the door. So it's going to Texas. Awesome. <laughs> I'll put it next to Wilbur. Oh, she's going to put it next to Wilbur. 
<laughs> well, Wilbur is her. Is Wilbur a pig or is he a? Uh, he's a boar. Oh, he's a boar. But and my Grandpa caught in the 1950s. Oh, okay. And so he's up on the fireplace, but we can make room for that too. And Wilbur is really cute. He looks like he has a smile, and he's got uh, reindeer antlers on, doesn't he? Yes. <laughs> it's really funny. How did you get? How did you uh, inherit Wilbur? No one wanted him. <laughs> so as soon as my grandpa died, he was off the mantle uh -huh. and stuck in a box in the garage. And my husband's like, where's that pig? And my grandma's like, I don't ever want to see it again. So we just took it. But we never had a fireplace to hang it up. So uh -huh. I think he goes really good there. And so now you do have a fireplace, right? Yes. Cool. Yes, to put him, but That's that neat. will look perfect right next to him. Uh -huh. Okay. Well... Well, now the wreath is going to go next to Wilbur. Maybe you could put this over Wilbur's head. You know what? I will, and I'll take a picture so you can put it up. Okay. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.